Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our CCM series about the bulk modification tool. It is a super powerful tool. It can do a lot. You can modify a lot of things about a lot of hosts at once. So whether you've got a huge environment with thousands of hosts to change at once, or you got a smaller environment and you just like to get through your work a little more quickly, the bulk modification tool is the way to go. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm gonna start this video with something of a warning. The bulk modification tool is super powerful, which means that you can also very quickly make a complete mess of your entire monitoring configuration. So, what I urge you to do, if you don't understand how and why to make an archive, go back and watch Configuration Snapshots, that video in this series. Critical to understand that. With that in mind, before we're going to open the bulk modification tool, we're going to go right here on the front page of the CCM to recent snapshots. We're going to make an archive and then we're going to be able to find it here at the bottom under archive snapshots on the configuration snapshots page. With that in mind, we are going to the bulk modification tool. There's a lot you can do in here, and I'm not going to go through every single option. I'm going to go through one, but I'm going to set that up by saying there's really nothing in this tool that you can't do in some other spot here on the sidebar. So you can change a single config option. You can do that in hosts. You can change commands and arguments. You could you can do this you know, to a large number of hosts here in the bulk modification tool. You could also do it here for any other host if you wanted to do them one at a time. So we're going to focus on adding a contact. So if we take a look, we could go to hosts, we could look at LS1, we could look at these LS, this log server cluster that we have set up. We can edit this one, we go to alert settings, we'll see that we have one contact assigned already, Nagios admin. We could add another user, we could add user to it, and we could close and we can save and now we've got two contacts there we'll go ahead and we'll apply this configuration what we're going to do down here for the bulk modification tool is we're going to add contacts and we're going to add a contact of user one but now instead of using just one we're actually going to modify five at once this whole log server cluster we're going to add those selected and we're going to close here and we're going to save the changes and we're going to apply the configuration. So if you remember from the intro video, we are always making changes to a database and then when we, when we apply the configuration, we actually write those to the files that Nagios uses to monitor. So everything was good there. Now we can go back to hosts and we can take a look. So LS1 when we get here now has three contacts Nagios admin that we started with user that I added individually and user one that I added through the tool we can go back to the host screen we can pick LS2 and we go to alert settings and you'll see we have two and user one is on there so we could go through that whole list and you'll see that the add contact has been added to everything in that list so when we go here, change a single config option that we can change elsewhere. That's what it looks like. Change command and arguments. This again, you can apply it to many, many things. You can also do a similar thing when you're here, except you can do it in bulk through the bulk modification tool. Add a contact we just looked at. Add a contact group you can do here. You can add that through hosts. You can add that through services you could add a new contact group or a new contact over here on the side parent child relationship we can add and remove that again could also be done individually in hosts we can add services here in services this one is individual this one is in bulk we can change the templates the templates are here and we can change the config name which we would also find in services so that's the short course on the bulk modification tool. Make an archive, make all kinds of changes. As long as you got that archive, you're safe to roll back to a previous config. There's a lot you can do, go get it. We'll see you in the next video.